However, there are some studies, even some the uh, double-blind study, shows that some medication are effects for uh, pathological gambling, and uh, such as opioid antagonist, naltrexone, and also selective uh, SSRIs. This is the uh, flo fluoxetine and uh, paroxetine. And also mood stabilizer is that very often at our clinic we use evaporate because of the mild side effects. And also some other medications, olanzapine and bupropion. <clears throat> and one thing that, the, uh, that we have to emphasize is that uh, Pharmacological therapy must be combined with psychosocial intervention. Yeah, this is the, uh, yeah, the and just to emphasize that no single treatment is if is more effective. If these two are combined together, the effect effect is much better than only one of them. So talking about the uh, psychological intervention, that the uh, CBT right now, and many studies show that CBT right now is the effective way for pathological gambling. And of course, that, the, uh, that there are many papers talk about the behavior therapy, uh, cognitive therapy, and also that the uh, other form of the uh, psychological intervention. But the CBT, that so far, is the most effective method to treat the uh, psychological, uh, pathological gambling. And, and the, uh, because that most, many patients, it's very uh, 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 common phenomena among addiction patients that, that the, uh, in the early stage, when they are in the early stage, that the denial is very common that they don't want to accept the treatment, they don't believe that they have a problem. So we call it pre-contemplation stage. So in this stage, that, the, uh, that motivation enhancement treatment is very uh, useful and important. And the, usually this treatment uh, uh, is carried out by psych uh, psych 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 psychologists. And the brief intervention, actually, is for, uh, is for all, almost all patients or almost all people who have the problems with gambling. It's the, very, it's the first stage of the treatment, usually. That brief intervention includes two stages. One is the screening. It means that to find whether uh, 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 this particular person has problems with gambling or what's the, what's the level of the severity. So this is the uh, screening and followed by uh, uh, education. Yeah, so that the, this is the uh, brief intervention. Sorry, yeah. Then so, also that the uh, uh, mildness therapy and the psychodynamic, there was some report about the, this the, uh, treatment it's also said it's, it's, it's effective. However, no control study about this the uh, treatment. And the practical management also very helpful. And the patient usually, when they come to uh, uh, to the clinic or to the hospital for treatment, that they are in a very uh, uh, desperate stage. That they are in. Uh, in a big debts or in a very uh, bad financial situation. So that the, uh, and the practical management, including the self and the family exclusion and the financial counseling, also very, very uh, uh, helpful. <clears throat> so in this, in this guideline, there are four points that are from the team, from the, uh, the, the uh, from the team. One is 
that a comprehensive treatment plan that incorporates a multidisciplinary and a multi, uh, multi-model approach should be developed for the management of pathological gambling. It's a multidisciplinary team is the uh, emphasized. And also when prescribed medication to treat pathological gambling, the medication practitioner should inform the patient of the uh, off-label off -label use and the possible side effects of these medications. And the third point is a self-support group. And the self-support support group should only be considered as complementary services to professional treatment for individuals with pathological gambling. And the fourth point is financial counseling, uh, limiting access to money and restricting admission into gambling uh, venues are complementary and practical approaches that should be considered for those who have pathological gambling problem. So this is the uh, this is the the uh, general principle in treatment for pathological gambling. So uh, uh, let's move on to the uh, the uh, uh, sub, uh, the topic on the uh, special population. So regarding the special population, it refers to uh, in this guideline is the uh, adolescents and old adults and the patient with comorbidities and also fam the, uh, the, the family members and the significant others. So first of all, that I'd like to talk about the uh, management in adolescent patient. So that the uh, regarding the uh, adolescence that the uh, if somebody that usually most of the patient actually started that the gambling at the age of the uh, uh, when they are child or when they are in the adolescent. So adolescents gamblers are more likely to become a uh, problem or pathological than adult gamblers. Early Adolescent onset of gambling is a risk factor for mental health problems in adulthood. And risk factors for use problem with gambling, including the low self-esteem, feeling of depression, substance use, and also the history in the family who also gamble a lot. And there are some special uh, uh, screening tools for adolescents. At the uh, one is the it's the uh, SOG, but it's the uh, modified for adolescents. And also for DSM-4, there is some question uh, questionnaire that is based on DSM-4, specifically for for child. And also that this the uh, this mags also specifically. For adolescents, this is a screening tools. Yeah, only DSM four is the questionnaire to help us to make a diagnosis. So this is the uh, uh, the uh, the questionnaire that in uh, based on DSM four. This the uh, including uh, twelve questions and based on DSM-4, that's the criteria. And usually, if the patient meet the four criteria among these 12, that the answer yes, and then most probably the, uh, this the, uh, individual, this person have the pathological gambling. However, that when we see adolescents, we seldom give them, give them diagnosis as pathological gambling. We just give them a temporary diagnosis, working diagnosis. 